Hello collectors and space fans, I'm Jim Frangione and welcome back to another installment of Taking Up Space, the place where space history lives and where every artifact tells a story. If you're as passionate as I am about the history of space flight and collecting vintage space age memorabilia and artifacts, you're going to want to click on the subscribe button and notification bell down below so that you don't miss out on a single episode. As we mentioned in previous episodes, Taking Up Space is about more than just collecting space history and curating memorabilia. It's about using those artifacts and their stories as connective tissue to carry the fire of awe and wonder from the pioneering generation of space explorers to the next generation, to inspire those of you who are presently students to perhaps pursue an education or maybe even a career field related to science, technology, engineering, art, or math. In this episode, we'll focus our attention on an artifact and a story that speaks to the letter A for art. And we'll speak about how important art and design can be to endeavors that are more traditionally looked upon as triumphs of science and engineering. So where do we begin the story of art and space exploration? Well, we begin at the beginning, of course, with the first spacefarer who was also an accomplished artist. That person is cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. The artifact for this installment is a Fleetwood first day of issue postage stamp folio dating back to 1980. It and the Soviet postage stamps contained in it commemorates the world's first extravehicular activity, or spacewalk. In the folio, there is a brief summary of the 1965 flight of Voskhod 2 and the spacewalk, a canceled and uncanceled variant of the stamp, and a signed piece of artwork depicting that first EVA. Here's the thing, the person who is depicted in this artwork and the artist depicting it are one and the same person, Alexei Leonov. A little bit about Alexei Leonov and that spacewalk. In 1965, the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union is in high gear. The Soviets scored another impressive first with Leonov's 12-minute EVA, and the U.S. would respond within weeks with Ed White's EVA in June of 1965 aboard Gemini 4. While only 12 minutes in duration, it was harrowing and full of unknowns, so much so that Leonov almost didn't make it back inside his spacecraft. His spacesuit, fully inflated, he actually had to let air out of his suit in order to get back inside the airlock and ultimately to the safety of his Voskhod 2 spacecraft. If not for his skill, his nerve, his creativity, and his supreme physical conditioning, this story may very well have had a very different outcome and a tragic ending, but it didn't. He was hailed as a hero and his place in the history books was secured, and he returned home also bringing with him the first art ever created in space. And his story doesn't end there. After years locked in the competition of the space race, ironically, it would be Alexei Leonov who would command the Russian portion of 1975's Apollo-Soyuz mission, which brought us our first handshake in space. Apollo-Soyuz would set the stage for visits of the space shuttle to the Russian space station Mir in the 1990s, as well as for the joint operations we're presently witnessing today aboard the International Space Station. As we can see in this photo from Apollo-Soyuz, Cosmonaut artist Alexei Leonov continued to hone his craft while on orbit during Apollo-Soyuz, here with his drawing of his American counterpart, Tom Stafford. I had the privilege of meeting Alexei Leonov back in 2005, and I can tell you that he left his mark on me personally. Without question, one of the most gregarious people I've encountered. I recall him giving me a very good ribbing as I introduced my two sons, Nicholas and Alexander, to him. With a big grin and that distinct Russian accent of his, he noted that they had two mighty fine Russian names, very strong, which led to a very big laugh. Mighty fine, something tells me he got that from Tom Stafford. I also recall the passionate and joy he shared in talking art with Alan Bean, a moonwalking astronaut and space artist himself who will feature in a future episode. Hearing them speak with excitement about their respective studios, and watching them share laughter and mutual respect and admiration for each other, they just struck me more as childhood friends who had reunited, anything but Cold War adversaries. I guess that, as reflected in their art, says a great deal about the healing power of time and the hopefulness that is within the human capability when we seek to understand each other. When I reflect on this artifact and those experiences, that's what I'm left with. Not the flags on the uniforms or the nationalities represented, but rather the shared human experience that only they, who have been there, might be able to articulate and among those who have been there in a way only that an artist could depict. That's the story behind the artifact for this installment. I hope that the art of Alexei Leonov fills you with a sense of awe and wonder and that it demonstrates how important artistic creativity can be in traditionally technical endeavors. In the person that was Alexei Leonov, it's the engagement from both sides of the brain that made him a truly extraordinary cosmonaut, artist, and human being. In future episodes, we'll be highlighting more artifacts and space art from the likes of Alan Bean, Nicole Stott, CC Beebe, Paul and Chris Callie, and others. Until then, that's all for this episode. 
Thank you for joining us today, and I hope you've enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up down below, and feel free to let me know your thoughts by dropping me an email at jim.takeoutspace at gmail.com. Until next time, collectors and space fans, keep your head held high and keep your eyes on the stars. Proceeded three.